Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about um, my early, early relationships. Early relationships, uh, I discussed uh, already the early relationships with my mom, um, the early relationships with my dad, and also like the relationships I've, I touched a little bit on with my family members. Um, so a little bit with my family members, I wasn't really very close to most of my family members. I, um, they, they were just so abusive and just so like, uh, most of my emotional trauma came from them. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I, I grew up with a family that always had something negative to say. Um, even if you try to make yourself better, it was, uh, always, there was always something said about you. Um, I had a cousin that was close in age to me. I, I loved her. Like, I legit loved that bitch. And, well, I had some family members that always compared us with e to each other, and I don't really understand why. Like, we were definitely not the same. We definitely didn't grow up the same, and we never had the same things. We didn't look the same. We were just so different. And as it's okay to be different, they like my family made it seem like it was taboo to be different. And they nitpicked everything I did. They nitpicked everything she did. It was, it was fucked up, man. And, you know, I just, I did my best with, you know, trying to get through life and, and just really just try to be like a pleaser. But then I would always, I remember like, always feeling so down about myself like I would cry a lot you know and I just I felt alone a lot of times now that I now that I really think about it I loved my family and I I loved I loved being with them but I did not love the way they made me feel most of the time and it's it was quite it's quite sad now that I think about it you know, I, um, as I lived down the street from a couple of cousins, they were my, they were my go-to. They were there for most of all the hard shit that I went through. And they were the main ones that really fucked me up. With their mom, their mom was an asshole. Like, it was awful. And so I... I know my mom, you know, when she was growing up, she was abused a lot by her family members and in every way that you can think of. And I know that's why my mom was fucked up. And I, I now as I'm older, I forgive her for a lot of things. Um, but whenever it comes to my other family members who, most of them didn't go through those things. So, I mean, there was no reason for them to be ugly to me. And so I'm sure I, I was, I know I was a sass back as well. I've always have been, um, but they really toned me down a lot. <clears throat> they would always say like, oh, well, that bitch thinks she's better than us and all this stuff. Like, I never thought I was better. I just knew that's not what I wanted in my life. Why is that so wrong? When I had a cousin who was similar in my age and I loved her and you tore us apart by comparing everything that we did to each other, whether if it was me getting pregnant at an early age, her getting married at an early age, and getting divorced at an early age for her, and for me having a guy who was who he was. And so it was always just those things. It was always something. Oh, and you know, she had she had a, a quinceanera and she had a great wedding and I didn't have shit. Okay. And what the fuck does it matter? You know, and I, it was what it was, you know, and there was no shame in that, but they made it really seem like there was a really like the biggest shame ever. Um, so then my relationships with them has really shaped the way I have relationships now in the future, now and in the future. Um, as I was growing up, I learned to really uh, cope with a lot of manipulation uh, some things were pretty vague for me, so I couldn't really decipher what was a manipulation and what was, like, sincerity from an individual. Um, because I always felt like people were always out to get me and all of these things. 
as I got to um, middle school and high school, those were fucking tough. Those were rough. Like, the friends that I thought were my friends were not my friends. Like, there were, like, I was in one city and I had a lot of great friends. But then it's like, I went to this other city and I was like, this piece of shit. Because there was these certain individuals who I barely even knew would say that I was saying all these things about people I didn't even know. I didn't even know these people. Like, I shit you not. Like, one of the first days to one of the middle schools, I got off of the bus. You guys, there was girls waiting for me. Girls I've never met in my life. Girls, I don't even know who the fuck they were and they were like trying to like fight me over things that I didn't even know like I don't even know like if they'll ever see these videos but I want you to know I never said anything about any of you guys because I didn't even know y'all and y'all treated me like shit that was fucked up those were hard times of my life But, I mean, it's cool. It is what it is, you know? It's really affected me a lot. However, I never said any of those things. I didn't even know what the fuck half this shit was even being said. It's sad how girls can be that way, you know? They can just pretend to be your friend and then turn around and say all this random weird shit about you. How awful was that? And what was so crazy is that I was happy about going back to that school in that city. And it all got shit on that first day. And yes, I had to defend myself. I had to definitely defend myself. And when I was in the other city too, I had friends there, but it was the same thing. Like, people saying I was talking about so-and-so like wait a minute can we just pause like and what is your name first can I have your name please then let's talk but no it didn't work that way so I went through a lot of trouble as I grew up I had a lot of haters yeah I was a fucking bitch I sassed back I had to what I supposed to do just let them just no hell no I got into a lot of fights. I got into a lot of trouble because I had to. Not because I wanted to. Because I had to. And so that is just part one of early relationships as I grew up. I'm going to take a pause and get a drink and I'll come back in a different episode and we'll talk more.